So the rules are really, there are no rules, but there's three or four rules. Now I'm going to try something very dangerous. First of all, there's no PowerPoint. You have eight minutes and no more than eight minutes. It must be fun, theatrical. It's about presenting our own findings in the most appealing, engaging, fantastic way. Thank you. I think people will be surprised, not only by the quality of the science they hear about, but also by the performances. Well, it all began in Victorian England in 1841. Hopefully you've all been exercising recently because this does require some upper body strength. It's a public engagement event where scientists get to perform in a short and simple manner their complicated research to the general public. So I have been selling the Science Slam to Radio Berkshire. Uh, they have invited Ben and myself to do a, a radio interview at noon. What's the audience of this show? Can I talk about penises? Uh, probably not. He actually said my interpretation was... Girl. Talk. This is science as science has to be. It is absolutely entertaining. It seems we've got an expert in the audience tonight. <laughs> I got a call about some minx. She's on the loose and killing everything in sight. This is where the audience vote comes into it. We will all be judged on our theatrical style, how clear the science was, and whether or not it was interesting. So, the winner is... Hey! Yeah! The Reading Science Slam in 2015 went just superbly. I won the competition, which was really unexpected. The backstage has been fantastic. Everybody's been really supportive and we clap for each other. All of them threw ad-libs in that they'd never done before. Anyone for a pair from a pear tree? After last year's Science Slam, Leeds have now started a Science Slam. Because, you know, where the University of Reading goes, others follow. <laughs> I think that's really is going to be the agenda for the next for the next decade. I think it's really important that scientists can communicate our often very complex ideas in the most simple way so that people understand like, what it is we're really trying to achieve. So the big idea as a result of this science slam is that we'll encourage other people to hold science slams and hopefully we can begin to build up a national network to publicise science to the community, to the public.